Hello YouTubers, I'm going to start another compost bin here. I'm going to um, cover the soil first with some wet newspaper, try and suppress the weeds because unfortunately I've got lots of uh, Calistegia um, sepium, aka um, field or what is it, hedge bindweed, which is a real nuisance. And then I'm going to lay a layer of charcoal on it to hopefully catch the leachate and turn it into activated um, biochar. Um, well, let's have a go. I've formed my three sides using pallets and I've covered uh, the bottom with a very thin layer of, um, well, hasn't, I haven't ground it down but um, recently um, created charcoal. So I finished the formation of my um, compost bin and as the volume is greater than one cubic meter it should be large enough for me to uh, have a hot composting bin that will kill even perennial weeds such as um, bind weeds and wandering dew. As I form the heap I'll be adding more um, charcoal so that it becomes charged and becomes biochar. I've got my uh, layer of uh, soil compost on top which is to provide the soil organisms required for uh, composting and just watering it in. I've added the uh, fresh charcoal I made a couple of days ago as a layer here. I want it well below the top layer which is going to be um, seaweed, so any uh, micronutrients are absorbed by the uh, charcoal, I hope. And yes, that's a, a layer of um, bindweed or um, Calistigia sepium that I'm attempting to compost. Decided to add my uh, seaweed to the green layer. I presume it's all uh, nitrogen nitrogenous waste. Another layer of browns coming up. So I've completed, completed my compost pile now. It's probably not quite one and a half meters, so wouldn't be suitable for a um, Berkeley composting method or hot composting method, which can compost a pile like this in 18 days. But that does require turning every second day after the fifth or on the fifth day and thereafter. And that's just not going to happen. So I'd expect that this uh, compost should be ready in three to nine months, hopefully three months. And I'm going to get myself a um, temperature probe and monitor the um, progress. Now I've got a lot of flies here because I happen to chuck on my uh, Bokashi um, bin contents just under that bit of dirt that you can see here. Oh, it's actually not dirt, it's probably a garden, organic garden mulch I think and I also used a bit of um, forest, forest floor got a bit of a forest around here so I use that as also um, starter for the uh, microbes anyway we'll see and hopefully the flies will go away as it um, starts to uh, burn this is just a uh, quick update Today's Friday and the pile was constructed on Wednesday and I've just constructed a quick um, uh, temperature probe using um, a bit of pipe and a, and a uh, thermometer, digital thermometer and it's reading after two days 99.9 .9 degrees Fahrenheit, um, Fahrenheit with the ambient temperature 74 so I'll use this to monitor the pile progress and once the temperature peaks and then starts to fall again that should be when I need to turn the pile again just a quick look at my uh, DIY uh, compost thermometer there's the uh, digital part of the instrument a bit of spare metal pipe and the wire is just wound down and the probe is at the end and the metal part is not touching the pipe uh, which would otherwise conduct the heat away Though I guess it shouldn't really matter that much. 